thing bad. I gotta fucking chop up because you know the thing bad. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Mad Shondi from MadPeople.com, and this is Mad TV. I'm here with ATL's 2011 dance hall queen, Lady Flashy. So, Flashy, tell the people, um, if they don't know already, where you're from. I'm originally from Brooklyn, Flatbush to be exact. Um, my whole family is Guyanese, so I love my heritage. I love my Guyanese heritage. I love my dance hall heritage, so, you know. Okay. When did you start dancing? I want to say I started dancing at the age of seven months because I started walking at the age of seven months. And from then I just picked up the beat with every type of music you could think of. Soca, hip-hop, reggae, anything. African, it doesn't matter. I picked it up. And I actually took dancing seriously at the age of 12. Okay, okay. Um, what made you, like, inspired you to just start dancing, like, for Dance Hall Queen? And um... Being that I'm very versatile and creative, I wanted to make a change in the dance hall industry in Atlanta because I know abroad it's like it's versatile, it's it's different forms of dancing, whether it's ballet or jazz or tap, it doesn't matter. It's it's very versatile in other areas, but I figured that in Atlanta, I needed to make a change by bringing more and more dancers together and letting them know that okay, we do have a reggae scene down here, we do have a dance hall queen that that has this title as an Atlanta dancehall queen, not just, okay, yeah, I'm dancehall queen and this is what I do. No, I'm a dancehall queen that does everything. I do African dancing, I do ballet dancing, I don't do tap, but I do hip hop, I do contemporary, and I do everything else. So flashy, I know before that you have went for a dancehall queen in 2008, some people yes. don't know that, talk about that. First time I did it was when I graduated high school in 08, um, I did it October 08, and don't get me wrong, I was nervous, everybody. Y'all don't think dancers get nervous? Trust me, we get nervous. Um, not just to say it's like a scared nervous, but it's like an anxiety nervous. Like, you're anxious, you're ready to get on stage, so you got a bunch of nerves going all over the place. Um, I did an OA with my homegirl Bones. She won, big up to Bones. Um, and from then I said, okay, maybe I can do it again next year. I did it in 09. Um, unfortunately, I didn't win again. I came in third once again. Um, my homegirl B. Randy won, big up B. Randy. And um, this time I just decided to do it in, in, in um, 2011, so I guess the third time's a charm. Yeah, and you definitely, I definitely will say, I think you definitely deserve Thank that you. title. Thank just you. watching you grow, you know, you, you. you definitely deserve that. You know, WickedHype.com, you're doing a lot of numbers. I see you on YouTube, um, Dance Hall Stars. Like, what do you think about the little critiques and stuff that some people have written? I love the critiques. Um, I take it and I run with it. Um, I use it. I use it in every, any form of way, whether it's a negative critique or a positive critique. I just take it and run with it. I'm not a negative person, so even if I do see some something negative on the website, any website, I just take it and I turn it into something positive and I just write a positive comment back. So that's what it is. That's a positive attitude. Um, what are your favorite, like, any idols that you admire? Dancing-wise, I idolize Bogle, first of all. Rest in peace to Bogle. Um, I idolize Rhythm Pink. She's amazing. GT Massive. I'm Guyanese, yes, GT Massive. Um, and I idolize Dancer Queen Muchi. She's, she's a phenomenal dancer. I also idolize Head Top Anika, uh, Isla, Daima, all the rest of them in Jamaica. Um, back it up. They're they're amazing. They're amazing dancers, and I love I love all dancers. But just just those those are those are a few to name. So yeah. So flash. What do you think about the dance hall scene now? The dance hall scene in Atlanta, you always have to start somewhere. So even if it's from the bottom on up, you have to start somewhere. Um, dances wise, I love the dancers down here. They're amazing. Everyone has their own different type of style of dancing. Everyone brings different energies. I love it. I love Dolly, big up Dolly, big up Dagger Squad, big up the Dance Hall King, that's a big up everybody. Dance Hall Queen Bones, even though she's in Connecticut, she's still, you know, this is where she resides. Um, I just love all the type of dancers. Big up Jessica Phoenix, she's an amazing dancer, check her out. And um, I just see dancing wise, I see it going far because now that I'm Dance Hall Queen, I have a lot of weight on my shoulders. So I feel like as a Dance Hall Queen in Atlanta, I have to take it abroad. I have to, I have to expand this brand in Atlanta because a lot of people don't know that 
we have that many, we don't have, we don't, a lot of people think we don't have that many dancers down here, which might be true, but even if we don't have that many dancers, doesn't mean we, we just limit ourselves, you know, we have to just, we have to always start somewhere, always, so, I started in 08 with the dance queen and look where I'm at now. Very true, very true. So, um, for people who don't know, like, are you a solo dancer, are you in a group? I'm a solo dancer. I'm by myself. Um, I did have a dance group like a couple years ago. But you know, it was little high school stuff. So it was really fun. It was a good experience. But I'm a solo dancer. But that all means I don't go out and I dance with other dancers. Trust me. I love to unite all the dancers. We might be separated by waters, but we are united by one. And I just, I just love it. So Flashy, let the people know where they can find you at. Um, definitely on Facebook. Just type in Lady Flashy, Lady with two eyes, Flashy with two eyes. I just did over my YouTube, so check out for those videos. The videos are coming very, very soon. I'm actually booked up with a lot of schoolwork right now, so I'm just waiting for the semester to be over with. Um, those videos definitely going to be coming from My People TV and Turn Up TV. Keep you on the lookout for that. Um, and also, I'm going to redo over my Twitter, so keep a lookout for my Twitter. Don't worry. It's, trust me, it's going to be a Big, 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 big change in this in this Atlanta industry. So keep on the lookout for me. Don't worry. I'll make a change. So, like about school. Listen, I see that you're getting your education. That's mm -hmm. very good. I actually attend Clayton State University in, right here in Atlanta. I'm studying psychology and human services. I'm actually a junior, but I'm actually going to get my master's in psychology and human services. I'm going to become a social worker and a substance abuse counselor. It's what I love doing. I don't read people's minds now, but... I like I like working with people and helping people out. So yeah. Okay. Like, who's your favorite artist? You have a favorite song? Ah, uh, one of my. It's hard. It's hard. I can't even say one of my favorite artists, but I'm definitely a big fan of Vibes Cartel, Idonia, Movado, Serrani, Marital Family, the the whole of them. I just I just I don't even have a favorite. I can't I can't even pick and choose. Okay. Okay. So what do you do like as far as with hobbies? Um, school and work takes up most of my time. Those of you that don't know, I, I do work at Foot Action. I'm a sales associate, so that takes up most of my time because I'm a full-time student and a part-time worker. So, uh, hobby-wise, I most of the time just read, I listen to my music, and I just dance in my spare time. Okay, okay. Um, also let your fans know, like, you know, what's your favorite color? Well, I ain't gonna say this so y'all give me any jewelry or nothing, but <laughs> my favorite color is gold. I'm in love with the color gold. I think it's a very unique color. It's not like the other colors, red, blue, green, yellow. It's it has its own it has its own form. Like I just love gold. Okay. So, um what would you say like what would be your ad you know, your inspiration to any upcoming dancers out there, you know, who wanna be dance hall queens in the future? Just just be very creative and unique and, and versatile and just have a lot of interaction with the crowd. Like, let the crowd be your friend. Like, just whenever you do a dance or competition, don't be afraid to get loose and, and get creative. Just, just, even if the person, I did an African song for my routine in the second round. I didn't understand a thing that man was saying, but just the beat of the song and the rhythm captured me. And, and I loved it. Big up Kevin, because he, he was my inspiration for that. Um... Definitely just just keep it going. Just don't don't even if you forget a, a routine, if you forget a step, just keep going. The audience don't know your routine. Just keep going. Have some type of interaction with the crowd. If you gotta get on the bar, get on the bar. If you gotta bust a split on the bar, if you gotta hop on the security guard, do whatever it takes. Like just be creative and unique and just have everything choreographed to the T. Remember, if you forget, don't 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 make don't let them know you forgot. Just keep going, just keep doing your thing and and that, that's what makes you, you, because you're creative and unique, and that's what makes me, me. Well, it was great having you flash you on Thank Mad TV you. today to talk about your competition. Thank you, sweetie. We wish you many more. You guys, um, once again, it's Mad Shondi. This is Mad TV on MadPeople.com. See you guys right. later.